Conquering your next cooling system service is made easy with help from the Schwaben Coolant Refill and Air Purge tool. This kit uses a Venturi effect to create a vacuum within the cooling system, evacuating air and eliminating the risk of airlock, a situation where a bubble of air gets trapped in the system, causing overheating and causing the HVAC system to fail to produce heat. Before using the tool, first drain all coolant from the vehicle. Turn the ignition to the auxiliary position. Set heat temperature to full hot and the fan on low. This will help keep the heater control valves open to ensure that you are pulling a vacuum on the entire system. Begin by selecting the correct size rubber filler neck adapter and insert it into the filler neck. Install the gauged valve assembly into the filler neck. Hold the top of the gauge assembly and turn the lower control knob clockwise until snug. Close the intermediate and suction tube valves on the gauge assembly. Attach the Venturi adapter to the gauge assembly and then close the Venturi valve. Keep the hose, which is connected to the Venturi adapter, pointed away from electrical components. Some coolant may vent out of this tube, so you may wish to place this hose into a catch can or bucket. Attach the airline to the Venturi adapter and open the Venturi valve. Open the intermediate valve on the gauge assembly. You'll see the gauge begin to move. When the gauge reading stabilizes, continue to draw vacuum for 20 to 30 seconds to ensure that you have full vacuum. Now that your gauge reading has stabilized for adequate time, close the intermediate valve followed by the Venturi valve. Watch the gauge for one minute. If it moves, you likely have a leak that needs to be addressed. If the gauge reading does not fluctuate, you may proceed. Insert the suction tube into a container full of coolant. Open the suction tube valve and you'll see the coolant begin to flow. Monitor the coolant level in your container. Close the suction valve if your coolant container is getting low and the gauge has not yet reached zero. Refill your container with coolant and reopen the suction valve. Keeping this container full will help avoid introducing air into the cooling system. When the gauge reading reaches zero, the system is full. Be sure to double check the coolant reservoir level. Top off the coolant if it is low or use a turkey baser to remove excess coolant. 